I found 10 shiny EVs in one day at 1 in 100 odds. Now I'm going to show you how that happened. When you turn on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for the first time each day, you get a message saying the Pokemon from yesterday have dispersed and new mass outbreaks are occurring. But did you know that as long as your save file is from a day in the past, you can soft reset your game for new outbreaks? I found this out by accident a couple weeks ago, and since then, I've made it sort of a ritual to soft reset my game until I get an outbreak I want. This particular time, I was standing in Cortando, right here, soft resetting to hopefully see a small of outbreak on my screen. But instead, I got an Eevee outbreak. But this isn't the perfect Eevee outbreak. This is a trap. I don't have footage of it, but if you get an outbreak in this area, only two to three of the Pokemon from the outbreak will spawn here, and you will be here forever. So just don't do it. Instead, you want this outbreak. This Eevee outbreak is perfect. You're probably thinking, 1 in 100 odds makes no sense. But in this game, 1 in 100 odds makes all the sense. Look, this Eevee outbreak is what I like to call an isolated outbreak. This is an outbreak where it is possible for only the outbreak Pokemon to spawn. I had no idea this was an isolated outbreak when it showed up, but I quickly learned that when I jumped over this fence and walked up a bit, only Eevees would spawn, and when I jumped back over the fence, they would all despawn. When I see opportunities like this in the game, I get excited, just like when I made an isolated Florges outbreak from my last video and I instantly decided I was devoting my entire Saturday to getting as many shiny Eevees as possible. Oh, there it is, first Eevee. I already have all the shiny Eeveelutions in Legends Arceus, but this was a perfect opportunity to catch them in matching Pokeballs. Oh, yeah, I forgot to explain the 1 in 100 odds. I was trying to skip that because math is boring and I don't want you to leave, but this is actually important. You get a max 15 Pokemon spawns at a time, which brings my odds to 15 and 1365 every time I jump over this fence. Actually, 1 in 100 odds doesn't make sense, because 15 and 1365 is 1 in 91 odds. That's better than Dynamax Adventures in Pokemon Sword and Shield with Shiny Charm. But instead of a check of 4 Pokemon in 20 minutes, you get a check of 15 Pokemon in 25 seconds. And these numbers are without the shiny charm. Add shiny charm, it's 1 in 55. Make a normal sparkling sandwich with charm, it goes all the way down to 1 in 34 in an isolated outbreak. Those are insane odds. It's time to meet the Eevees. Introducing Eevee, Notalion, Tiny Eevee, Moonion, Friendion, Longion, Weebakion, Tiny Eevee 2, and Sleep Eevee. Now, that's only 9 shiny Eevees, and they all have their own incredible stories, but I kinda lied to you at the beginning of this video, when I told you I found 10 shiny Eevees. Because I actually found 11. Let me tell you about Phaleon and the second greatest shiny fail I've had in this game so far. I can admit, the hunt for this is not the most interesting. It's jumping over a fence, waiting a few seconds, and then jumping back over the fence and repeat. Telling you what happened is less interesting than just watching it in real time. So check this out. No. I think I just failed one. I'm pretty sure I just failed one. Crap. I think I just failed one. God damn it, dude. Damn it. Oh, what? There's one right there. It came back! The game decided to show me a shiny Eevee right when I jumped and was moving in mid-air. There was no way for me to save that, and I kind of want to and will forever believe that this shiny Eevee I named Phaleon is the same one that popped in and out of existence in an instant. I actually accomplished my goal of 10 shiny Eevees in one day. The first six came within less than four hours. The last four took quite a bit longer, and Sleep Eevee showed up 20 minutes before midnight. Oh, is that it? Oh, it's the sleeping one! But hey, that be RNG. If you like this video, then you'll really like this one, where I was able to turn a Florges outbreak into an isolated outbreak with really interesting results. And like I always say, 
Finizen is such a dope Pokemon and an amazing shiny.